we don't have legislative powers, but we are delegated also the possibility to, to decide on regulations. And of course, we have an ongoing situation with consultations with the government. So we have to meet regularly and also try to, in good faith, find solutions on, on problems uh, that we have or, or possibilities we want to explore. So that is something that has a great value for us. Yeah, that's interesting. In fact, I understand you are going to be meeting today 38 of your representatives. Give us a sense of how it works and, and how you canvass the views of the Sami people. Well, we have 39 representatives from all of the Sami area on the Norwegian side, and, and that means that every, every area has their elected uh, members of parliament. And uh, we do negotiate our disagreements uh, just as any other parliament. So, of course, we have uh, challenging debates also in the Sami parliament. Uh, and we have a parliamentarian system, so, uh, so I hold office. Uh, because we have a coalition uh, with uh, several of, of the groups that has uh, that did uh, yeah, we had representatives in the election last time so um, that is a good system and we have an opposition also in the Sami parliament and um, it's important for us also to have ongoing debates uh, with the Sami society but also with the opposition in the Sami parliament as well as Norwegian government, international um, meetings and so on. I'm interested to know whether you feel it's really bridged a divide or even if there was a divide between Sami community and Norwegian people. Has it improved relations? Has it improved, has it helped bring people together? I think we, uh, also, we are also facing some serious uh, Debates today, it's uh, uh, attached to the green shift, energy pr production and extractive industries where we are, have great different uh, uh, opinions. But the thing is the value of having a, an elected body for the Sami people, it has tremendous uh, value because otherwise it is hard for, for us to carry out those uh, necessary debates. And I think this is a, a very, very important mechanism. Do you think it's improved the lives of indigenous people in Norway? I do think that uh, after the Sami parliament was established, we have seen a, a very, uh, very uh, much development in many, many areas. But we are still facing, uh, the, the, we are still facing the challenge of evolving the Sami parliament to that matter that we can um, exercise self-determination within the frame of being a people uh, a minority group in in uh, in Norway uh, or the indigenous people of Norway, and I think that is uh, something we have to do together 